Hey y'all, this is Big Country with Big Country Survival. So, this is going to be kind of the start. I'm going to go over my EDC. Um, I'm going to start off with my coat. Um, and then I'll do another video on just my personal EDC because it has changed since I did the last EDC video. Um, you know, this is just a, you know, this I, really isn't a coat, uh, so much as a jacket, uh, just one of those hooded jackets, and it is old, um, and beat up, and I'm just keeping it going, um, you know, I don't wear this, uh, you know, to church or anything, uh, this is my working coat, so working on the farm, working working at the job, uh, things like that, so it's basically my EDC, uh, you know, I, I wear this coat a lot more than I wear my nice one, um, I say nice, like, it's, it's, you know, here's the difference in work clothes and nice clothes to me, uh, time and the amount of holes and or stains. Um, <laughs> uh, the amount of grease stains determines whether I consider my clothes nice or not. Um, so, there's that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I, uh, I dress in layers. This isn't an overly thick coat. I don't really like wearing an overly thick coat. Um, you know, it doesn't really get cold enough down here to justify a super, super thick coat. Um, the coldest I've seen it has been like negative 11. Um, you know, yeah, negative 11 is like the absolute coldest. Normally, it gets down into the single digits around here uh, or the teens, like 13, 14 degrees or, you know, on down. Um, that's normally about the uh, extent of cold that it is, but, so I dress in layers, um, you know, like a, a thermal, you know, undershirt, like a pair of long johns, um, then a t-shirt, and then maybe, a, if need be, a long sleeve t-shirt, uh, and either a, like a hoodie, uh, sweatshirt, like hoodie sweatshirt, or, um, uh, or a button-up flannel shirt, something like that, and then this coat. Uh, and that keeps me pretty well warm uh, throughout the year. Uh, so, there's that. And, you know, this isn't my getting in the truck and driving in the, in the heat or going in, inside and working in the heat. This is my outside, you know, I, I spend a lot of time, you know, outside working or working in a building that doesn't have heat. Um, so, and you dress in layers. Um, so, without further ado, via a little bit of uh, movie magic, I guess you could call it. I will meet you all up back at the house and do my coat EDC video here. Alright guys, this is my coat. It just screams. Um, I've actually been told before that uh, this coat makes my uh, white privilege show. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, so, I'm going to start out with the coat itself. It is a Schmidt brand, which is tractor supplies, kind of store brand for clothing. Um, I got it probably seven years ago or so. Um, I think it was about seven years ago. 
uh, when I was actually working there and as you can see by my numerous patch jobs um, I put it through some pretty hard use in those times uh, got oil stains and dirt and everything it just looks grungy right I actually hasn't been that many days ago that I washed this thing um, it just stuck like that okay the only things that I really don't like about it is it doesn't have enough pockets for me it's only got you know the two front shirt pockets and um, it's got a couple you know the hand pockets um, but I feel that I've made good use of it um, so I'm going to show you this pocket first lighter and yes I do carry this stuff with me every day flashlight pocket knife this is actually a real old pocket knife I believe I tell you the truth I, um, I don't know where um, I take that back I was given it by a guy I used to work with for sharpening up a bunch of other knives that he had that were really dull and I was told to take my pick of the knives that I, one of the knives I wanted um, if I sharpen the rest of them up real good and this is a Cutmaster Utica New York USA USA and that okay this is not typically in there um, as you all probably know this is a 3 8 drive extension um, I must have just shoved it in my pocket um, <laughs> when, when I was working with it and you might see a cat show up the cat is interested in what I'm doing here on the floor um, but this was the best lighting I had in the place so all right pins uh, sharpie and that's it for that okay now this pocket uh, you can see the leather in there that's two pair of welding gloves um, I'm not gonna pull them out because it has my name on them so not that I don't like you guys, but uh, all right, we're going to get into this pocket now. Yeah, I keep a bag of ramen, or usually it's like a granola bar or um, a cliff bar, something like that. But uh, today it was, well, there to go. I ended up eating the. Um, the uh, granola bar that I had and so before I left the house the next time this was what I had that was light and could be eaten in a hurry uh, bug out food aside so top ramen you don't need to cook it you can just eat it just crunch it all up and open the seasoning packet put a part of the seasoning on there it actually isn't too bad or just eat it plain okay now if you watched my survival kind of video my my survival rifle 22 video you might recognize these bags that I get from work I've just got them for I've just got one in here just as a little you know just for stuff I find little stuff like nuts and bolts um, or fire tender or whatever um, I've got that. This is just some cheap plastic twine. I got this from Lowe's. Um, like, they had stuff. I had to go to Lowe's recently and get some sackcrete. It was raining. So, I got plastic and string to, uh, you know, they have that stuff out there you know, for you to use. Um, so 
there was that. And that's just what I had left. Um, from, you know, what I, I cut off a bunch just to make sure I had enough. And this is just nothing special. I just took some few strands of paracord and plotted them together could wear that you know have a nice bracelet or something right yeah okay well that's my coat um i'm keeping it going strong um well more or less i'm just keeping it going so i don't have to go buy a new one <laughs> Um, I'm not trying to impress anybody anyway. Look at those grease stains. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, I think that's old motor oil. Um, but <laughs> look at those stains. Yep. There are no pockets on the inside. That's the one thing I don't like about it. Um, but it will zip up and then you've got buttons extra. Uh, give you that extra little bit of insulation so it kind of looks like you've got a jacket and a sweatshirt on at the same time that's cool I guess um, <laughs> I don't really care it's comfortable it's warm enough and um, you know it gets the job done hey y'all I hope this gives you some ideas of some stuff that you can put in your coats maybe You've got more pockets than I do, and you can carry more stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll have to show you uh, my uh, Carhartt one of these days uh, and the stuff I've got in there. But, you know, I've got some basic tools that was not supposed to be in there. I just forgot it. That worked. <laughs> um, but, uh, Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got uh, you know some cordage, fire, light, knife, food, stuff to store stuff in, protection, PPE kind of stuff. I mean, this is pretty decent for a coat. I mean, I got a little bit of everything in here. Hey, I hope y'all, I hope this helps. I hope this gives you some ideas. Maybe you've got more coats, you know, or coats that have more pockets than this one, and you can utilize those pockets to, you know, build upon your typical summertime EDC. Um, I've actually thought about just, like, sewing extra pockets on, like, the inside or something. But, uh, anyway, I hope this helps. Um, and, you know, I thought this was pretty neat. Wanted to show it to you guys. Pretty proud of this coat. Anyway, this here is Big Country with Big Country Survival. Signing out. God bless.